Uh, what's up, people? See, I had a fucking subscriber go off my shit. I know who that was. It's all good. Oh, God. You know, these, these fucking kids these days in school. You know, when I was a kid, second, third, fourth, fifth. Until I got up to, like, look, I don't fucking remember. I remember back in the day, though. You know, these kids these days that don't fucking stand for the pledge, you know, the shit's ridiculous, dude. I just read something about kids not staying for the Pledge of Allegiance in the morning or some shit before school. You know, that shit really, like, aggravates us people from back in the fucking day. Because what we were taught when we fucking walked into school, first thing you do before class starts, say your Pledge of Allegiance. And then the fucking national anthem would come on right after that. And now, by doing that for so long, it turned into a, a fucking daily routine for the people, like, the, for the kids and shit, you know? There's a lot of respect there every morning going in and doing that. Every morning going in and doing that. I'm pretty sure it was every fucking morning. It was over 20 years ago, so. But I remember doing that shit. Because they would pick certain kids out of the class and say the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which we stand, one nation under God, invisible, for liberty and justice for all. Right? Every fucking day. Every day. And then the fucking... And these kids... Oh, I don't want to stand for the flag. And now teachers are telling fucking students, well, go back to your fucking country to... Hey! I tell them, fuck. At the same time, yes, the teacher was disrespectful for saying that. But at the same time, the fucking student was disrespectful for not doing that. If you're going to get rid of the fucking teacher, you might as well kick the fucking student out of school as well. Or students. I'm really sick of this shit, you know... From football kneeling to fucking students not fucking singing the play. You know, if you guys don't love the fucking United States, then go somewhere else. If it's so hard for people to fucking be here in the United States, go somewhere else. If you don't respect the fucking flag in the United States, then go somewhere else. How the fuck do you expect the United States to do something for kids that don't respect the United States? Tell me fucking that one. How do you expect people to go into these fucking hood areas and fix up if people ain't willing? The people in that area ain't willing to fucking help themselves. No, but they want, oh, we, uh, this ain't done, this ain't done, uh, y'all ain't helping. Uh, uh. Well, I'm sorry. Go get you a fucking job. You already took fucking thousands of dollars of my fucking taxes or my money for my fucking checks. I don't even see all at the end of the year. It's just, it's just stupid shit, man. That really got me. I had to, I had to say something on that. You disrespect the fucking flag. You disrespect the United States. You disrespect me. If you don't like the national anthem. If you don't like standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, then go somewhere else. Because we ain't got time for the little baby's fucking issues. Oh, I don't want to stand for the United States Pledge of Allegiance. Ew. The fuck out of here. Go fucking, go shove a tampon up your fucking pussy. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking lames, man. And these are the kids... They're supposed to run the future. They won't stand for the United States Pledge of Allegiance. And the fuck, yeah. <laughs> I would have told them the same shit. You, you might as well leave the fucking country. Get the fuck out of here. There ain't nothing racist. You're being more racist for not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and shit. So, fuck you. If I was the teacher, I would say that. I really would. I wouldn't give a fuck about my job. <laughs> Oh, man, dude. 
Wow. That's crazy, man. These fucking kids. <laughs> uh, oh, I was about to say, I hope that ain't Bay Area Bugs with a new fucking video. Because I'm pretty sure he said he ain't doing DOJ no more. Which sucks because him and fucking the other one, man. Cat. PCAT. 234, I believe. Or 124 or some shit. They fucking. They had a fallout, man. Those two were like the rock and fucking stone cold and shit, you know. And they had a fallout. It was sad. But, uh. That's what the fuck I want to talk about today, man. This shit's getting ridiculous. You don't want to stand for the United States wake up and eat your baby. And then go cry to the principal when they fucking say something to the student. <laughs> and then have the teacher fired. <laughs> That's so fucking retarded. Oh my god. That's like, that's like, I'm sorry, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I just speak the truth. It's like, that's like me trying to change my fucking. That's like me trying to change my address on my licenses and shit. Because I've been trying to change my address for so long. They have my driver's licenses changed on the address so I can have a sent through the mail. You know, because if you send the IDs through the mail, that's how they do it here now. Shit, what was I getting at? No! But they send... Oh, I, oh, oh, oh. It's just like that. It's so hard for me to get... It's been fucking like two months. I still haven't received a piece of mail at my new address. And I have no way of fucking figuring out. Because the post office won't tell me what my current address is. But it's okay. It's okay to bring in illegal immigrants. And here, have a driver's license. <laughs> That's basically what the fuck they're doing. Because they're coming in. They don't know English. Illegal immigrants <laughs> from Mexico. They don't know English. So how the fuck are they just getting a driver's license? Tell me that one. But no, it's taking me two months to get my fucking uh, address changed. And I, I have to go I have to go back out to Indiana and go rechange it again because the place that I have it at, there's no mail going there, and I don't talk to the asshole that's mother that lives there. So I would really like to make a video on that one too as well. Because that was bullshit. I'm sorry, but you have some... I'm sorry, I'm not... No, I'm not talking shit real quick, but... You're going to ask somebody to come work on your fucking car and he agreed to. Because you said there was weed involved. Okay. Now how the fuck are you going to call me in a couple of days later and be like, well... This sounds like you're just trying to come over and get high. Uh, excuse me? Really? Okay, motherfucker, enjoy taking your car to the shop then. Straight the fuck up. That's bullshit. I totally lost a friendship over that shit. You wanted to fucking make it seem like I'm just coming over to get high? And it's lost a friendship, dude. Just lost a fucking friendship. Yeah, that's, that's what's got my pickle turning today, is that shit about the fucking, uh, about the flag. That shit. Uh, one big fucking vagina the world's turning into. So these kids that don't stand and respect the flag and this and that, these are the kids that are going to be running fucking the world in the next fucking 20 years, probably. Now, you tell me, would you allow someone to run the fucking world that wouldn't... Or, I'm sorry, not run the world. Run the United States? If they would have couldn't even fucking stand for the fucking United... For the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem? Fuck no. Nah. I'll tell them to get the fuck out too. Go. Leave. No. Fuck you. I don't have time for that. This is the United States of America. If you don't respect America, you can fucking leave. 
As simple as that. You want to deny fucking doing the flag? Leave. It's been said by Trump before, and I bet he'll fucking say it again. If you don't like it, leave. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It fucking really is. I gotta go get some more coffee. Oh, I don't know. I might do a video today. I usually play videos when I'm high. I am currently trying to not smoke. Because I have to go find me a different job. Because these jobs that pay fucking $10 an hour and they want me to work six days a week, five hours a day. Nah. Yeah. So fuck that. But, uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm just. I'm ready to go start my own little fucking cult somewhere, dude. I mean, I have nothing against the United States. It's just I wasn't cut out for this kind of shit. I'm a hillbilly boy. I ain't used to fucking. You know, I don't want none of all this shit. I just want the cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods right by the lake with the fire pit. That's it. That's fucking it. That's all I want. I don't need fucking big ass TVs. I don't need this. I don't need fucking, you know, I don't need it. I just want to be in relax mode. I can't be in relax mode right now. I'm 34 years old. I live in my fucking father's basement. Not my whole life. I was on my own for four and a half years in East Chicago until I ran into drugs. But why am I going through my whole fucking life story? It's supposed to be about, be about the goddamn national anthem and flag and shit and this and that. So, fuck everybody that doesn't like the United States. Fuck everybody that won't stand for you for the Pledge of Allegiance. If you don't like it, then get the fuck out. 